What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So today I'm doing something that is very long overdue. I'm finally working with a Venus flight graph. So I know a lot of people that started doing a tissue corto with a, with a Venus flight graphs, including myself. I did a, the first plan I introduced to tissue corto was a Venus flight graph, although I started using with seeds. Now, uh, Venus flight graphs, if you look online, there is a lot of uh, protocols on how to sterilize it and introduce it to tissue corto. However, um, a lot of those protocols, or I mean, they do work, However, they are all different. There is a or there is a lot of ways to do it, and there is no like a right way or wrong way to do it. It's just that you see a protocol online, and then you try to replicate it, and it just doesn't work. And Venus flight traps are probably um, some of the easiest, and at the same time, some of the most difficult plants to get into tissue culture. Um, I don't know why the reason. Sometimes it's just luck. Um, I, I don't know, it just doesn't make sense. Uh, sometimes uh, a lot of people use 10% um, bleach for 10 minutes and they work all the time. Uh, but sometimes uh, if somebody else tried it, uh, it just doesn't work. So I'm trying to see if I can find a way to to, um, to see if I can work. If, <laughs> I'm trying to see if I can find a way to make it work for most people. So what I'm going to do is I have a, have a couple of Venus flight traps. I want to start with this one. It's a very nice, healthy looking plant. And what I'm going to do, I just want to take a couple of leaves. Let's see if I can do it without pulling all of them. Now, a lot of people say that it's a lot easier to do this with a flower stalk. Um, or some people use the, a leaf like this or even the trap. So what I'm doing is I'm just taking some traps I just place it, this is just water. It's just water with some soap. There is nothing else. This is just water just to keep it clean. Um, so, kind of de depends. Um, I'm using leaves, especially because we are on the floor right now, so there is no uh, flower stalks. But you can you can use leaves, you can use seeds, but whatever you want to kind of keep the same genetics uh, as this as the mother plant you want to use the tissue so i just want to take a couple of leaves and place them in water for about maybe an hour or so let's see and there, there we go Maybe a little difficult here to don't have a good way to grab the plant. Let me grab a couple more and then I will see you in the lab. All right, so I'm back on the lab and here are the, the plants I was able to collect. So uh, I got a, a full plant uh, that I removed part of the, the root and I also got a very small one just floating around. So I want to be able to have a, quite a few explants to do some experimentation with these plants. So like I said, this is used uh, water uh, with some uh, dish detergent. So I want to put a magnetic stirrer and you can use uh, either a magnetic stirrer or a shaker uh, because I only have one, I just want to use a magnetic stirrer. Uh, it's a lot easier used to, than having the big shaker here. So let me turn this on. And I just want to, I just want to clean the, uh, the explants. Um, for maybe about an hour or so. So I'm going to set a timer and then I'll be back, right back. Well, it has been just over an hour and here it is, you can see it turned uh, very green. It was kind of dirty. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to make a 1% bleach, bleach solution. So taking my water, this is uh, distilled water. So about 150 milliliters, are you right? And then grab my micro pipette. I want to set this to 75 microns, so I, I add this twice. So I want to add one and a half uh, milliliters of bleach. Let's 
So one and a half milliliters of bleach. I'm going to add a couple of drops of a dish detergent. That's it. Now I want to non-stero. This is non-stero. I want to place all the. Well, let me give it a little shake. Let me grab the magnetic stirrer. All right, now let me place the, all the plants in there, all the X plants. That's, that's it, that's everything. Okay. So, set my timer for one hour and then I'll be back. Okay, it has been an hour and it's time to do the rinse. Uh, to rinse, uh, you have seen my other videos, you know that I use hydrogen peroxide instead of out of plate water. So I'm going to add about 100 milliliters of 3% hydrogen peroxide from the, from the grocery store. Milliliters. So let me get this out of here. Now it's zero forces now. There we go, that's everything. So now I'm going to rinse them for um, for five minutes. Okay, there is almost one minute left, so I want to add a one percent of white steel vinegar. There we go. The combination of uh, hydrogen peroxide and white steel vinegar makes a very, very strong oxidizer and a very effective uh, sterilizing solution. Uh, it's something that I, I really like to use when doing tissue culture and um, it has given me a very good results. So hopefully it works at this time for the people's flight plans. Okay, one minute is done. Let's start moving the plants to the tissue cotton cups. There we go. I got a. Uh, All right, there we go. We got a uh, ten uh, tissue culture cups. Uh, I'm using the two ounce um, portion cups. I think these are great for experimenting, uh, especially you on. Having, I, this is great to 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 get a plant started on tissue culture as they are very cheap and then very small, so it doesn't take that much media and they are very affordable. So I got I got ten. Um, this is an experiment. I'm not. I don't. I never. I have never used this protocol before on Venus fly traps. I don't know if it's going to work or not. I hope it does because it was something that was very simple. Uh, this one is a whole plant pretty much in here and some of these are the leaves with no uh, traps and some of these are leaves with traps on them so I use the all together um, you have seen people doing uh, Venus fly traps tissue culture you know that they most likely take the trap off the, the, the leaves and they cut the ends whenever they are done after sterilizing the after using the bleach they cut the ends to remove all the everything that has been killed uh, for the bleach 
However, in my uh, case, I only use a uh, 1% bleach, so it's a very mild solution. So I don't, I don't trim, I don't trim any of the ends. Uh, so that's something that it is very helpful. Well, it's not helpful, but it has been giving me good results, and it makes everything a lot easier and also a lot faster. So I don't have to be trimming all the ends, which kind of takes a long time. So hopefully it works. Like I say, uh, this is just an experiment. We'll see if it works. I will make an update video to see if it, what happened to this to them. Uh, they probably get the to see what happens. They may get contaminated or they may just die. Uh, some of these I can tell it was probably too much. The time was probably too much for them. Uh, where I'm probably going to lose a couple of them. Uh, the other ones, the bigger explants, they still look very good. So hopefully they do okay, and hopefully we don't see uh, any contamination or we have a minimum amount of contamination. I think that would be great. Well, I mean, I got 10. If one of these uh, make it, uh, that will be a good result. I mean, that will be a 10%. But I mean, 10% is better than 0%. And uh, with tissue corto, the good thing is that you, got, you get one that is successful. Um, basically you only need one to be successful and then after that they will start to propagate very quickly so that's pretty much everything uh, I hope you have enjoyed it uh, like I say this is an, this is just an experiment um, I will give you an update to see what happened if they get contaminated or not or if they just died so hopefully if this works I can make uh, some other experiments uh, using a uh, Venus fly traps um, we'll see uh, all right, hope you have enjoyed it, and then I will see you in the next video. Goodbye. Hey everyone, thanks for watching the video. If you're enjoying these tissue culture videos, be sure to follow us on social media for more informative content. And if you're interested in conducting your own tissue culture experiments, make sure to check us out at plantcelltechnology.com for all the products you need to get started. Use the code FP10 for 10% off your first purchase.